Hi there, thanks for joining me today. This video is a little bit unusual, it's really not my usual remit, um, but I feel I've got to come and talk to you about what I've been up to. Um, if you've been following the channel, you'll know in the past I've had problems with my dodgy tick. I've had this atrial fibrillation thing where it's been uh, going into funny rhythms and making me feel a bit, bit, bit weird. Um, that alongside a shoulder injury that just hasn't been healing for over a year, um, bit of overweight. Um, Earl said, if I look down and I can't see my todger, I'm fat and I'm going to have to do something about it. It got to that point. <laughs> this was when we were away in Prague last year and you can see me gut, me just double chin, looking a bit fat and eyes are puffy, not looking healthy at all. I was also having this lack of motivation, so just no drive. I usually I've got plenty of go, you know, I've got lots of motivation, but I was feeling that I just hadn't got much motivation. So I really wanted something just to, uh, just something to give me some drive back. I went looking for a solution. I'm not one for dieting. I've never done a diet before. Um, so, I th well, I was looking, I was looking at things about my shoulder injuries and all the rest of it. And I came across this doctor in America who'd done a video on the carnivore diet. Now, <laughs> I take it with a pinch of salt, to be fair. I look at the video, I watch the videos. I've watched a few different videos for different diets and stuff. But then I started looking at the comments on this video and the comments were just positive, positive, positive. So many positive comments on things saying, oh, my injury, I had a, you know, a, a muscle that I've been having problems with for years. It's sorted. Skin problems, they're sorted. I'm thinking, blimey, this just sounds too good to be true. The only trouble is you can't eat no bread, no fruit, no rice, no cakes, no chocolate, no vegetables. Chocolate's a big one for me. But we'll give it a go. 30 days was my original plan. I thought, let's go for 30 days, carnivore diet, pure meat, dairy, just no veg, no fruit, just meat, dairy, you can have fish. Um, and that was my plan. The first thing I've got to say is I'm not a dietitian, so I can't give you any dietary advice that is specific to you. This is just all about me and my experience with doing this, this carnivore diet. This is the start of it. All right, try and relax. So this is day one of the carnivore diet, starting today. Yeah, alarm bells are ringing. Look at the state of him. It's not good. I look at myself there and I think, you know, you do look podgy, puffy, it's just not good. I know I've been on holiday and got a bit of a tan, but uh, yeah, it's not looking so good. The belly. Just the face, I mean, my face, when I look back at this, I look at my face and I see that it's really like puffy and chubby. There's a lot of, yeah, a lot of weight hanging on. Yeah, movie movies and a bit of the gut. I mean, that's solid, look, solid flab. So let's crack on with this diet. You know, I just thought, let's get on with it. Let's see what happens, see if it, if it is a miracle or, or not. So first things were, I went and bought a new grill. Got rid of the old George Foreman because I'm thinking we're going to be grilling loads of meat. This is the old George Foreman. Need something big enough to uh, yeah, get plenty on there. This is like a commercial one off Amazon, 155 quid. This is a solid piece of stainless steel on the hot, the hot plate itself. I pop links in the description for it. Look at that, fits like a glove. So we've got the grill, we've fitted it in. So what sort of things are you eating? What sort of food can you get? These are the questions that I wanted to know because it's very difficult to find an actual meal plan anywhere and something that's interesting. You kind of think, oh God, meat every day, that's gonna be a bit tedious, a bit boring, especially if you're not mixing it up with other stuff. But to be fair, I've really enjoyed it. Uh, it's been absolutely mind blowing. The changes in your body and also the, the no hunger, you know, at no point am I getting hungry because if ever you're hungry, eat. Just eat meat, eat cheese, eat dairy, eat eggs. So for breakfast, the usual day is omelette for breakfast. We'll wrap a couple of eggs, give them a good whisking. We've got some uh, bit of salt, bit of cheese. Get the cheese on the griddle, get it uh, nice and crispy on the bottom. We'll get that melting down. We'll tip a bit of egg on there. And then about 30 seconds, you get yourself a beautiful omelette. Absolutely lovely. You can put oat in this as well, anything meaty, cheese, ham, chicken, mm, bit of sausage if you want to put a bit of sausage in there. Ooh, look at that. 
I like to mix up the eggs as well. We can go with some duck eggs. These duck eggs are absolutely beautiful from a local farm. You could chuck a bit of bacon in there if you want it to be a treat, so all good. Whoa, look at that, a beautiful duck egg for breakfast. Or oh, two duck eggs. A bit of cheese. Mmm, bit of salt and pepper. Mm. These are all um, from a local farm. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. It's got to be one of the easiest diets I've ever been on. So I'll be grilling up. I'll be putting cheese on the griddle. We'll be getting um, eggs, whisk them up, tip them on the griddle. Nice, beautiful omelette. Ham, ham and cheese, ham and egg. Uh, ham and egg. <laughs> it's going to have egg in it. It's an omelette. Um, but yeah, you can put any like little, you can have seasoning with this as well. So you can put seasoning on all your food, uh, just no sauces. So we're using you know salt, pepper, spices, chili flakes, all that can go on your food, make it nice, give it a bit of a uh, bit of zip. So breakfast generally consisted of is it a, eggs is my usual breakfast. Then lunchtime, uh, depending on whether I'm at home or whether I'm out and about, always have a pack of chicken, uh, like cooked chicken, chicken thighs, chicken um, drumsticks. You got to eat fatty meats. Don't go for fillets. No fillet, no chicken fillets. No fillets of beef. Just go for like the rib eyes. I mean, I say no fillets, you can have fillets, um, but you don't want to predominantly eat fillets. Uh, you need to mix it up, you need the fat, and your body craves fatty meats. This, the ribeyes, you know, with the, with the fatty bit in there, like I've been really enjoying it. Uh, it's the cheese on there, it just gives it that little bit of extra flavor. You chuck your eggs on. Like I say, you can season these steaks up as well. If you want to put a bit of steak season on there, not a problem. Within about five minutes, you've got a, a beautiful dinner. It don't take long to uh, to cook these steaks up on this grill. It really does get hot. You can crank it up. Um, them eggs look nice as well. Look, oof, beautiful. I wonder who's having two. Bagsy two eggs. I'm having that one. <laughs> uh, brisket, uh, any fatty cuts, pork belly, pork chops. Um, yeah, all of that. Just the fatty ones are the best, especially the grass-fed stuff. So your your lamb and your beef, they're the most. Well, they're the ones that you you seem to my my body, my hunger, really taking me to these um, lamb and the beef. That seems to be my real go-to. I find, and as time went on, chicken kind of just wasn't I wasn't feeling it I could eat I could eat chicken till it was coming out of my ears and I just wasn't really feeling it but with the beef um, that came that tended to fill me up now lamb was a funny one because I never used to be able to eat a lot of lamb without it upsetting my stomach but within a, a week of going on this diet I can just absolutely mull a lamb and my digestive system is working better than it ever has it is perfect I can't believe it it's really working well yeah, and then at tea time, uh, evening meal would be like a ribeye steak, steak and egg, steak, egg and cheese, um, seasoning, you can have your pork chops, lamb chumps, lamb, uh, grilled lamb, diced lamb, uh, just, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, mm, lovely cuts of lamb. Minted seasoned lamb chops. Now we've got a pack of lamb here. Now this is for me and the wife. This is just two of us going to eat all of this meat. That's one dinner. Nice grilled chicken, ribeye, cheese, and an egg cooking in the beef, juice, and chicken juice. Mm. And another one was uh, lamb's liver. Love a bit of liver. You need to get these many cuts of meat as you can inside you. So a bit of chicken and a bit of lamb's liver. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, look at that. Oh, I've always liked a bit of liver. Mmm, <laughs> and grilled up on there, it's beautiful. Been out for a good ride on my bike this morning. Bit of liver for breakfast. And the old dogs, well, they've never been happier. It's uh, it's like a dog's paradise in our house. Meat galore, they're loving it. A beautiful bit of fish. We've got some nice uh, bit of kipper. Let's have a few kippers on there. Grill them up and salmon as well. I had a lot of salmon. Love the salmon fillets with a bit of uh, chili flakes. Oh, look at them beauties. They look nice. Mm. <laughs> 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 
delight. Absolute delight. And the fry up as well, so you can go for sausage, bacon, eggs. You can have the pork loins on here like I've got as well. You know, absolutely beautiful. A good fry up was always a nice meal. Black pudding, a little bit of black pudding. Oh, look at that. Another great carnivore dinner. So what were the changes? The changes were instant. Uh, to be fair, it really did happen within a few days. Um, so like I was saying, my biggest problem and the, the main reason for doing this was was the the gut and the pressure i was feeling in my chest i'm lying in bed at night and i can hear my heartbeat in my ears in my head so i could i could hear it boom 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 and obviously it was skipping its beats doing this weird arrhythmia thing every now and again so i thought this is yeah i've got to do something this can't be right this pressure i'm feeling in my body just feel blur just horrible that went very quickly. Within two days of starting this diet and cutting out all the carbs, the pressure in my chest seemed to be going and I could lie in bed at night and I wasn't hearing my heartbeat in my ears and in my head. And that happened, like I say, really, really quickly. So that was straight away, it gave me a real motivation to carry on the diet because I'm thinking, blimey, if that's happened straight away, then it's got to be doing something, something right. It's got to be doing some good. Within a week, I'd lost a stone. Now, the video originally that I watched, the doctor did say that, that you would lose a stone uh, within a week. So he was spot on with that. Um, he says this is mainly down to water retention. So that because you're eating the carbs, your body seems to retain lots of water. Um, as soon as you cut all the carbs out, then your body can release, these water, release the fluids, release the water, and, and your weight loss will come pretty quick. But after that, it slows down and it takes longer to, to get any more off. But that initial week, I did. I lost a stone, which absolutely blew my mind. I couldn't believe that. And I was feeling good for it as well. 14 days in, can you notice any difference? I mean, it's not massive, but it's there, definitely. You can see a lot of weight's come off my face. My gut has shrunk and my bum seems to have gone down a bit. Uh, and it's, I seem to be losing quite a bit off my shoulders and around the top, neck, shoulders around there. But it's not massively noticeable. After a couple of weeks, other things were happening. My skin, I, and it's something I'd n never even thought of, but I just like, blimey, it feels really soft, almost like you've been on holiday, where well, you know, when you get the soft water on holiday. It felt a bit like that, like, oh, blimey, everything just seems a lot softer and everything felt really nice. My hair felt different. Uh, yeah, really, really strange. So again, he's thinking, is that because of the weight loss? Is that because of the weight that made my skin feel different? Or was it literally just because of the diet that we were eating, the food, uh, doing things to your body? I don't know. But that was definitely something that was really noticeable. After about three weeks, my shoulder was really noticeably better. There was a massive difference in, uh, I, originally I was struggling to lift my arm up like straight in certain positions I was really in a lot of pain. So it was more like that position there and going up. I was getting pains within my joint. I'd been doctors for this. Uh, like I said, it'd been going on for over a year. I'd had steroid injection in my, in my shoulder. Still, no, pro still no, no relief. It was still giving me problems. Within three weeks, this pain had, well, not gone, but it had gone a lot. It, it was so much better to the point where I'm looking in the mirror at myself and I'm thinking, blimey. The, my left shoulder, I'm right-handed, my left shoulder has still got muscle in it. My right one, where I've not been using it, because it hurts, so I was trying to do it with different movements, rather than this, this muscle in the top here was almost non-existent. And what I thought was muscle was flab, and that had gone. So I'm looking like really skinny around my shoulder. So I thought, okay, it's not hurting anymore. Let's start to do a bit of lifting. So I was just trying to lift, I was lifting packs of water um, to try and build some strength into these muscles in the shoulder again. And again, I was doing that without any issues at all. Uh, no pain, it, it, unbelievable, unbelievably different. So just every day I've been doing a bit of lifting just to try and build these muscles back up in the shoulder that have gone. And um, I, I can't tell you the difference in my shoulder. It, it's amazing. And this had been over a year with no improvement at all. That's gotta be down to the diet. It, it can't be anything else. So I'd start right at the beginning, I could only lift these 10 times in the air, by the end of it I'm cracking on to about 45, 50 times. I mean it ain't no iron man, but what an improvement. Now 
the shoulder is just so much better and I've got a little bit of muscle definition this one here which was really really gone is starting to come back well, I can still see that one is it looks more defined than my right one still but then I did smash my arm up and the muscle was put back in a different place it's never been so it's hard to tell what is exactly right but I do think that that's definitely got definition back in it again and I've got movement in pretty much all positions which I was really struggling with before I was like coming up and it was sticking so yeah loads of better loads better loads of difference motivation um, I've not been out exercising for for months again maybe the shoulder issue has been a problem with that because it, it just makes you feel down because it's hurting all the time and uh, you know I like to get out on my bike I like to do my cycling I've not done any of that I'm back out on the bike I'm out riding again without any issues without any pain I've had back issues backache for years I mean, I'm talking like 15 years really struggle with my back if ever I do any digging any lifting any heavy work driving for um, any number of hours I'll be stiff and aching and thinking oh my goodness me this is like just yeah feel old and knackered gone it's gone I, I, I sh I've just uploaded a video of the carport I've just built this is the motivation thing so I'm motivated again I'm this job's been on the cards for, for a couple of three years and just ain't got around to doing it I've done it it's finished this is lifting massive seven meter timbers and built this carport I'm, and I'm coming in at night I've done a 10 hours outside building this carport come inside no aches no pains no backache go in bed as normal sleeping through and waking up being able to move with no light back aching getting out going oh god I can't move nothing at all it's just unbelievable it's I'm like a new man I can't believe it it's like how I was 20 years ago so just that alone again has made such a massive difference so the original plan was to do this for 30 days and then uh, introduce foods you know like your vegetables and other things maybe just to see if I'm intolerant to something is there something that I'm eating that's causing me problems making me bloat and everything else is it just the carbs is it gluten I don't know am I, I don't know I don't know if I'm allergic to anything but that was the plan 30 days and then start to reintroduce stuff but I was feeling that good I thought you know what stuff this I'm going to carry on I go for 60 days so carried on for 60 days still feeling absolutely great shoulder is improving all the time so we thought do you know what let's go for 90 <laughs> so, so we've carried on we've now done this for the 90 days and, and that's why I'm going to like bring this video to you just to show you the difference in my body and um, yeah it's uh, it's crazy it's absolutely crazy now I haven't been out doing loads of exercise I've not been smashing the gym or anything like that this is just very light exercise and down to the diet just the food intake that i've had and i'm so i'm so pleased with the results i feel so much better and also i've had so many comments people have been saying to me are you okay you've lost loads of weight is there something wrong with you yeah <laughs> you know but he's like no i've been on this diet and uh, i can even pull my tummy in i mean jesus i've not been able to do that since i was a kid <laughs> but yeah what, what a difference and I'm eating like a pig now the one thing that I didn't expect and something that I've lived with for, for 20 odd years I, I've had it for ages is this tonsil in my mouth my left tonsil has been swollen the size of a grape they were going to take it out at one point um, years ago but then they changed it around and they weren't doing tonsil operations anymore and all that nonsense but so yeah this, this tonsil I've got it's gone <laughs> so I've lived with this problem getting food stuck in there bits of sugar get stuck behind it I've had it for years and years and years it's always been there it is gone it's completely vanished what's that about it's got to be down to the diet again it must be so not only am I feeling great my body seems to be healing itself and um, and I've got motivation so um, that's where we are
I thought I'd bring this one to you because if you're feeling like I am, if you're just, well, if you feel like I was feeling, if you've got lack of motivation, you've got injuries that won't go away, just generally feeling a bit like depressed about stuff, you know, your body not being as it should, give this a go. Have a bash at it and see what you think because if you don't like what I've, it's a transformation, absolute transformation. If you've enjoyed the video, drop me some comments. Um, always love your comments and this one will be really interesting to see what you think because a lot of people go, um, oh, you can't, you can't live not eating veg and fruit. You'll get scurvy. You'll get, um, yeah, all sorts. <laughs> you need your vegetables. You know, you'll go blind and all that nonsense. What a load of cobblers. Absolute nonsense because like I say, 90 days in and I'm feeling better than I ever have. That's not to say I'm going to carry on with this forever. Um, you know, we, we're going to go till Christmas now. We're going to carry on till Christmas and just see what happens. Um, but maybe introducing some of the stuff back into it. I don't know. We shall see. I think um, I'm just feeling so good at the minute. I don't want to change anything. So all in all, 90 days in and I've lost two stone. I've lost two stone in weight. This has not changed for the last 30 days. So at 60 days, I was down to two stone. It's just stayed the same and it just fluctuates very, very slightly day on day, but it's generally always the same. I've gone from 13 stone eight down to 11 stone eight. Supplements, you can take a few supplements. I didn't take anything for 60 days. I didn't take any, any supplements at all. Um, but then I started taking some vitamin C tablets, some cod liver oil, um, some vitamin D for no reason, not because I was, I just thought, you know what, I've not had any of these things, I'll just take a few vitamins just, just to see what happens. Um, so yeah, that was after 60 days and I had to just take like a, you know, a, a few vitamin pills every day. Um, yeah, I'll put a list of all of this stuff in the description down below. Um, including all the food we've been eating and everything else. So uh, yeah, it'll all be in there. So yeah, if this video's been of use, if you have liked it, if you've in, if you've enjoyed, it, if you're taking anything from it, drop me some comments. Always love your comments and uh, like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Be a good day, wake up, wake up. today's gonna be a good day, wake up, 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 today's